Вот когда выходишь на эту панораму, смотришь, и в глазах, в общем-то, проскальзывает, так сказать, ангарский простор. No, Alexander Malasov is not crazy. He is just a person which have seen River Angara from his windows all his life. And with his new view, buildings, bricks and panels, he just haven't befriended. Same as with his new flat. It's like I'm living in closed space, you know? This is strange for a man who was living in outer space all the time. Ex-businessman Malasov is not complaining to his life and destiny. They are both not guilty in fact that the job of his life, his house and homeland village Balturina is now covered under a huge water reservoir, same as more than 30 villages of Angara River. And Grandpa Sasha was resettled from his own house at the Angara coast to one living room at sleeping quarter, in almost a thousand kilometers from his homeland. Мне могут возразить, сказать, ну что тебе еще надо? Somebody could argue, what else do you need? You're alone, you have small apartment, but enough for a lonely man. Enjoy your life. Here even warm toilet, everything is good. But besides the domestic well-being, there is a soul. You can change your well-being, you can change everything, but you can't resettle your soul. When Alexander is getting bored of television, he is going for a walk. He is also a term that is not understandable for him to go walk. When he was living at the river, he was walking for living. It is the only option to live well and the truly Siberian nature. And now he live for moving. New store to buy bread and pharmacy. Добрый день. Good day, lady. Validol, please. Then he comes to show us the alley of veterans. At least here is something that is clear for Alexander. Both of his sons were in army, junior even at war. And this is the end. He is coming back home to thin walls, old TV and photos. This is my house. The next was my brothers and the next of it, cousins and more and more. Alexander Malasov is second-class petty officer. He spent three years at Pacific Ocean at Mine Troller. And he did it so good that when he was going home, Admiral sent him to airport on commander's car. The next day after maneuvers, I've been taken by Volga Gas 24 of my commander to airport of Vladivostok and in few hours I've been at home. Grandpa Sasha is real grandpa. He has two grandsons. They are living at north with sons of our hero. Alexander can't visit them too often. Now he has to live closely to big hospitals. Resettling is still having bad influence on his health. So he calls them sometimes and moreover, he is writing letters to them in traditional old way from his soul and by his hand rhyming здравствуй котя здравствуй даня пишет деда хулиганя так соскучился по вам вот приеду в гости к вам мы устроим тарарам покатаемся на санках и на лыжах и на танках всех люблю и обнимаю всем здоровья вам желаю В гости жду вас каждый день. Вот такая дребедень. From the first view, it could look like everything is not so bad in Malasov's life. His grandsons are loving him, he has roof above his head, and his own Hungarian rod is not broken. He still comes out to balcony to imagine the views of Angara. The only problem, he don't have anyone in touch just to share his happiness, sadness and nostalgia. All homeland souls are like deadly now. Where they have been resettled, nobody knows. The only hope is internet. But Malasov doesn't have it, same as PC, doesn't have it yet. Oh,